guys and welcome back to my youtube channel which is coding station so we're back with another video so in this video i'm going to be telling you a lot about python as we are going to be continuing um series 100 day challenge of python so as you know it's a very common language you know very common everybody knows about python everybody knows what it is everybody knows that you know half of the population is getting to know python or running towards python why right why do you think it's important so for that questions all of that python questions you can go to my youtube channel we're gonna find a lot of videos about just python about the introduction and everything so in this day or um, this challenge of 100 days i want you guys to accept it and if you accept it please write it in the comment section i'll pretty much check it out so let's begin with python right so python was actually the inventor of python we don't talk about who invented the python it was invented by guan wu rozom right it was invented in 1991 and um, you know he was watching a television once and then he thought of uh, thought of naming the language he was working on the uh, language then he thought of you know while watching the tv or television or that cast or anything like that he thought of naming the naming the language and he named it python so as you know we know about this much about python and a lot of knowledge as well because we are hearing everything about uh, everything about python from everybody near us so now let's just begin uh, with the basic thing that jo bahut important hum log karne wale hain which is python theek hai python kaise hum download kar sakte hain python kis kis means se aap kar sakte ho bahut sari cheeze hain python mein and there are lot of softwares that you can do from python that you can perform in python there are visual code station visual studio code which is preferable it's very good you can do anything with it there's python of course python and many more as well and you can download download anaconda uh anaconda navigator right uh, um after downloading it um i'll also spend i'll also you know make a video on how to actually download python visual code and anaconda because after downloading anaconda you get all the types of text editors that you want in python and all in one like you can you can learn every kind of software every type writing software is over there in uh, anaconda and you don't need to externally download any software such as visual code it's all in one it's in anaconda itself and it takes a lot of time to download and stuff but it's pretty good i must say so if you're willing to check it out please do so anaconda is actually loading now and we're going to open anaconda and go to jupiter so if you're new to coding and you just want to start right away please do start with anaconda i would really prefer with because it's easy and you have a lot of basic uh, software language software languages such as if you're using uh, uh, visual code uh it's going to confuse a bit because visual code is for people who have been working on python python is a very basic one it's good that you're using it but i would more prefer you to use notebook jupyter notebook and um, also do not do not use spider online python you know navigators or consoling uh, softwares or even um collab collab uh, google collab do not use that because uh, wo bahut zyada common hai and a lot of people are using it but if you actually want to use python over it it won't work so so let's do a uh, jupyter notebook and use it and find out how is it so we're going to click on launch jupyter lab jupyter notebook it's two different things so always know the difference between jupyter lab where you can ex uh, you know experiment with um language whereas in jupyter notebook you are going to learn that language and actually implement it into your life uh, okay so i've been working on a lot of things and let's go to the basic um structure of python from the first module that we're going to learn is 10/1 2024 that i started learning and uh, let's begin so yes how do you write something 
in or print something in python which is pretty easy i think the people who don't even know or don't even want to learn python they know how to do this so it's very simple so first x is kind of a variable it's like a tank containing all the things in it so like x is equals to hello world now this parenthesis or yeah all these parentheses and quotes double quotes all of this is very important in python right uh, and there are a lot of words keywords in python that we use at times so i've made notes if you want to check out all the notes in python the basic knows that you should know the basic knowledge about python that you should know um is will be given in the description box okay so let's begin so x is equals to quotes or double quotes you can use quotes or double quotes but if you're not using quotes or double quotes it would be implemented as a function I know it's confusing you a bit. I know, I know, I know, but let me just convey my message clearly. X is equals to double quotes or quotes, hello world. This is where you can write and then you're going to type. Type or print. You can use the command type or print to actually implement that word, what you're saying. Now, x is equals to hello world x1 is equals to 20 x3 is equals to false so print type x print type x1 print type x2 print type x3 we're going to see type what is it type type ka matlab hota hai ki uska type kya hai wo kis type ka hai because uh, jo hamari python hai wo ek string integer float इन सब में डिवाइडेड है तो अगर तुम कुछ भी लिखते हो इफ यू आर राइटिंग समथिंग इट हैज टू बी इन स्ट्रिंग इन टीजर फ्लो